Hello booktube and welcome to weekly reads. Um, so first thing off the bat I listened to Know My Name by Chanel Miller as it is for the booktube prize. I will only say I've listened to it and I will give my thoughts when the finals are announced in next at the end of September. Moving on to the books I um, can talk about. I finished Empire of the Black Sea by um, Dwayne W. Rawler um, on Saturday. Really enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My one criticism would be the penultimate chapter and the final chapter. I think could have used a lot of work. Um, so basically the second part is Mithridates VI, the most famous of the Mithridatic rulers. Um, obviously it's, yeah. You know. um, and so the part begins a little bit with his biography before his um, three wars with Rome. And then it deals with the buildup to the first Mithridatic war the First Mithridatic War, the aftermath of the First Mithridatic War, and the Second Mithridatic War, which was really more of a plundering expedition by a rogue Roman general, and then the build-up to the Third Mithridatic War, and the Third Mithridatic War up to uh, Pompey the Great being sent in to relieve the general at the time. And then it kind of breaks and goes into a uh, look at the um, royal court of um, Pontus or uh, Mithridates VI's royal court. And then it goes back to the end of the Mithridatic, Third Mithridatic War and his flight to um, Bosporus. Um, a distant part of his kingdom on the other side of the Black Sea and his eventual death and then it goes into sort of the legacy of um, Pontus and of Mithridates himself and I thought um, the afterlife of the um, myth of the Pontus I think could have been its own chapter and um, the royal court chapter i think probably could have been broken up and interspersed throughout the part as it became relevant for yeah where it belonged but on the whole i really did enjoy this book so yeah and it, it did teach me a lot about um a part of a country that no longer exists that i'm really interested in now so that's really good um and so at the end of Saturday, I managed to read um, the rest of um, Empire of the Black Sea in one day on Saturday. And so I read the first up to through the introduction of Arabs by Tim McIntosh Smith on Saturday. And then I've been reading since. I'm still working through it. I have about 200 odd pages left to go. So I should finish it this weekend. And if not, I'll finish it on Monday. So I'll wrap up August with um, Arab. So far, I am loving this book. It is hilarious and just awe-inspiring. Um, Tim McIntosh Smith takes a sort of a bit irreverent approach to the history of the Arabs. There's much humor interspersed in... Um, the narrative that I find really interesting. Also his um, centering um, the history of the Arabs um, in conflict and disunity and drawing attention to the fact that outside of his window um, Tim McIntosh Smith lives in Yemen and he wrote this in Yemen and he could see the uh, current Yemeni civil war outside of his window. And those um, sort of asides or tangents 
a really very interesting. And I wonder if he'll, and I think he sometimes touches on other aspects of the Arab Spring too. Um, so I'm really loving the book so far. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Um, comparing this to Albert Horani's History of the Arab Peoples, um, this is on one level more political history um, compared to the more intellectual history that Horani um, provides, but it's also, I think, more literary history. Um, there are significantly a significantly greater amount number of poets and Tim McIntosh Smith spends a lot of time on the Arab language. And in fact, much of the history is of the language and how the language um, forms culture and how the history of the Arabs is really a history of culture and language. And so that's really fascinating. And I'm loving this book. And I'll have more thoughts uh, next week when I finish. But definitely, I highly, highly recommend it. So moving on to um, this coming week, I will probably start September with um, Titus Andronicus. So, yeah. I'm going to be hauling this behemoth out. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll read... Um, a Shakespeare play, I think, so, I'll, so this will be the first book, and then um, I'll read it like after the Space Opera September. So Shakespeare, Space Opera September, Shakespeare, space, yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've read any Shakespeare. Um, so one thing I noticed when I was trying to find Titus is I'm not entirely sure I like how this book actually organizes the plays. Because it's broken up into the comedies and then the histories, the tragedies, the and the romances, and then the poems. And I'm like, I'm not entirely sure the romances really like should be a category that I think they probably should be combined with the comedies because ultimately that's what those the romances are. They are comedies. But anyway, just my thoughts. Anyway, so I'll be getting to Titus Andronicus. And then I will be having another go at Consider Phlebas by Ian M. Banks. And hopefully this time I make better progress than I did the last time I tried Consider Phlebas. Anyway, so that's what I've been reading and what I will be reading um, this coming week. Um, if you notice, I did uh, do a quick um, bit of a rearrangement of my room. I mean, like I mentioned the last time I talked about how I rearranged my room. Um, I really like how it looks right now. But there are a few things that I ended up having to change. Um, this black bookcase was over on this wall here. And unfortunately, my desk is also on the or here too. So the space between my bed and the wall isn't very big. And so whenever I would get up, my chair would knock into the bookcase and it is quite flimsy. So it wobbles and on Tuesday the books on the top that I had ended up falling on me so I'm like I have to change this this isn't working so I was going to move both of these um, black Walmart um, shelves to this wall here and then I realized it wouldn't work with the bathroom door because I wouldn't you know, I don't want the bathroom door to be hard to open so I basically split what I have. Um, so it's this bookcase and then a smaller one right there. And then I have a smaller bookcase and then the taller one. Although I might move one of the, since they were open-ended and I could do a double-sided bookcase, 
I might move it, them back to where I had them, or one of them, so I can use it as a double-sided bookcase as I start getting more science fiction and fantasy books in. But we'll see. I still have plenty of space, and I don't know necessarily if I'm going to go through all that hassle. Although, that said, taking down books and rearranging things, it's a great way to exercise. So, yeah. Um... So, anything else? Oh, yeah. So, if anybody's curious how um, the local school districts are doing with COVID-19, uh, one of the bigger school districts in the county um, opened uh, for uh, in-school or in-person uh, classes this week, and already at least one confirmed case of COVID-19, and uh, about 20, 30 uh, students have already have to go into quarantine, so anyway. <sighs> yeah. Um, so I think that's about it, and before, I'm going to go ahead and sign off before I start to ramble. So thank you BookTube. Have a great um, afternoon and evening, and please stay safe. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. Thank you, BookTube.